At Swobero, we have a big vision. We want a world where everyone has access to modern medicine. But the problem is that if you live more than 100 kilometres away from a major urban centre, access to basic services like high value medication or blood testing is limited. And this is a problem that gets even harder if you live in a remote area or an emerging country. The common problem in all these locations is that road transport of medical supplies is slow, outdated and not cost effective. The solution is autonomous transport leveraging the free sky above us. And Swoop Arrow's mission is to redefine access to healthcare with airborne mobility. We're providing a fleet of drones to take medical couriers off the road and ensure that everyone has access to modern medicine. We provide on-demand, high-speed, autonomous airborne transport, and we call it Airborne Mobility as a Service. Our service enables healthcare providers and NGOs to offer their most valuable services to a far greater number of people. These are some of our autonomous aircraft, controllable from anywhere in the world with an iPad. And we use a unique combination of technology to build an operating model that enables us to deliver a service. We combine commercial off-the-shelf technologies uh, with proprietary technology in a stack at about 80 to 20 ratio that enables us to make a cost-effective solution to the market. Within our aircraft, we combine computer vision, LiDAR, GPS, 3G, 4G, LTE communication suite meshed with an Iridium SATCOM module, uh, inertial navigation, and a suite of uh, avionics that enables us to take our solution to market. Our tech stack forms a centerpiece of what we call our operating model. And it's a combination, as I said, of off the shelf and open source IP. Uh, we start off with a commercially available uh, airframe configuration, but we actually apply our own unique uh, aerofoil design to it. We use a carbon fiber skeleton with a 3D printed uh, diamond infused PLA over the top to build a structure that is as strong as carbon fibre but is actually lighter and more durable and much more cost effective to build. We we'll leverage open source code and splice in our own proprietary IP over the top to make the vehicle do what we need it to do. We use commercial off the shelf communications and combine it with our own proprietary satellite communication system and uh, communications meshing software. And we use a, an onboard computer architecture combined with a, a series of uh, sensor integration features that enable us to make a cost effective solution. And the combination of all of this is that our vehicle is an order of magnitude cheaper to manufacture than our nearest competitor. That enables us to tackle a global market in a way that no one else can. And the global medical, medical courier industry is a rapidly growing $5 billion global market. And we've assembled the right team to transform how it's done. I'm Eric, CEO and co-founder. I'm a former Air Force pilot and a recovering management consultant. <laughs> and my co-founder, Josh, is an industrial robotics engineer who worked for Siemens and also a drone <coughs> world racing champion. We built a series of world-class partnerships, including NGOs, healthcare providers and universities, and assembled an amazing team to transform how people access healthcare. Speaking of NGOs, we just won the world's first open tender for drone transport and medical supplies run by UNICEF. That means that in a little over five weeks time, we fly the team to the South Pacific and begin delivering medical supplies to ensure that all of the three and a half thousand children in Vanuatu under three years old get access to the basic vaccinations that we all take for granted. We've also partnered with Lavity Pathology, a billion dollar pathology company, and we'll establish an airborne transportation network for blood samples in Australia in 2019. <coughs> We've got a pipeline of work spanning from Papua New Guinea, Indonesia and the Philippines. And our focus over the next 18 months is to scale in the Asia Pacific region, where every year $18 billion is spent on early intervention healthcare and blood testing. The unfortunate thing about that number is that 50% of that population right there isn't served 
because it's not an effective road transportation solution. At the moment, we're closing a seed investment round and looking for software developers and embedded systems to help us on our journey. So if you think that universal healthcare is a basic right, we'd like to hear from you. Thanks.